And today on the tech bench we have a Pioneer SX780. I wasn't going to really worry about doing a video on this, but this just seemed like a weird enough problem. I thought it may be a good idea to, to just make a quick video. This thing came in with no sound. Now, normally on these things, these use the STK outputs. Normally on these things when the complaint is no sound, it's in protect, one of your STKs is blown. That's you know basically blown output kind of a scenario. In this case, it was actually timing out. You could hear the protect relay clicking and everything was good. There was just no signal getting to the outputs. So in this case, uh, fortunately I had a, a, a schematic, manual I think you can get online, but um, in this case what I found, I get in there and I find out here at the flat amp, which is the, these two here, um, the voltages were all off. The positive voltage was really low and the negative voltage was non-existent. So the voltages, let me see if I can hold this phone while I do this, voltages come off of this little circuit right here. And what I found was this resistor and this resistor here were open and on the negative side. So did I point it that right? Just in case my I didn't point properly. That resistor and that resistor there were open. It's R304 and 306. Um, the, the replacing that brought the negative voltage back, but it was also low. So not only was the positive 24 volts about 10, the negative 24 volts was about 11. Now, normally that would indicate uh, just a, a direct short on that line, but just the, the oddball part about this was it wasn't a short on these two, uh, one of these two um, op amps that they use for the flat amp. It was actually a short over here on the HA1457, which is the phono amp. Its uh, power for that comes off of pins 8 and 4, or goes to pins 8 and 4 rather, and comes off right here through these resistors. Uh, enough of a, of, a, of a drag down that it eventually opened up the power supply, is my guess, uh, on these on these two voltages. But um, like I say, this was actually a problem in the phono section that was causing the whole thing to uh, not have any sound get passed through. Replace that, powered it up, and it's just fine. So this is why it's so important to have uh, access to schematics. I believe, uh, I think this one came off a hi-fi engine. I don't know anymore. I got so many of them. But uh, it's always a good idea to look. Simple diagnosis, just lift one leg. Or in this case, with a bipolar power supply, lift two legs. For example, if you think this IC here is bad, this Q3 is bad, you can lift pin 7 and lift pin 4. And now if all of a sudden your voltages jump up, you know it's bad. Well, that's actually what happened over here. Those two were good, which is what I expected the problem to be. But over here in the phono amp, Q1 and Q2, uh, I don't know which one it was, Q2 I think, um, I lifted pin 4 and pin 8 on that, which is the supply voltage in, and all of a sudden the voltages came back up the way they're supposed to be. So replaced uh, replaced a bad IC in the phono amp, and that brought sound back to every input.